Okay. Okay, we're going to be adding borates to this 12,000 gallon pool. And I already took a pH reading of the pool. It's 8.1 right now because of the uh, spa overfill, constantly off gas and carbon dioxide. So it keeps the pH a little bit up on this. And the borates, this is a good pool for these borates because these borates will help stabilize the pH from that overspill on the spa. Now, the way we're going to figure this out is we have our 12,000 gallons divided by 10,000 gallons will give us 1.2. So we go 1.2 times five, which is 50 PPM, divided by 10, gives you the five, and then we'll multiply that by 76, which is 76 ounces for 10 PPM in a 10,000 gallon pool. So, and that gives us 456 ounces. Now we'll divide that by 16, and we need about 28 pounds in this pool. Now I'm not gonna put in the entire 28 pounds, um, just in case, you know, we have a little bit of variation here and there. So I'm going to put in about 20 pounds in this pool to start it off, and then I'll be back tomorrow to check it out. So we've got a DE cup here. DE cup, about a half inch from the top on this, is about two and a half pounds. So and I got a hammerhead going in there, and you can also use a brush. Uh, this stuff brushes around really easily. Just try not to let it sit, or do not let it sit, on a black bottom pool because you will the little white etching marks on the on the black bottom pool so um, you do need to move this stuff around so let's start off here and let's just go go with five pounds at first and we'll just move this around Now, again, with boric acid, we do not need to figure in that, uh, that acid to offset it. Okay, so this, all right, so there's 10 pounds. There's a 15 pounds. Now when I get done adding everything, I'm gonna go over the entire pool with a hammerhead. So let's put in another five pounds for now. Okay, now we're just gonna get this moved around the pool. Now this boric acid should drop my pH a little bit because it is around a five pH. So you, when you're adding this stuff to a pool already that has a low pH, you really want to keep an eye on it. You might be adding uh, maybe a little bit of soda ash or something later or aerate the water. So now we just have to move it around the pool And uh, let's move this over here. I love this hammerhead. Hammerhead is the only way to do things. All right, looks like it's all spread out. I'm not really getting anything else coming up. So, looks like it's all 
in the water pretty darn good. Okay, here we are about four hours into the borate. Came back, tested it, we're at 50 ppm of uh, borate. So here we go on the pool. Okay, I also forgot to mention I went from 8.1 pH down to 7.55. Five. Okay. So again, be very careful when you add this stuff on um, boric acid to your pool. Make sure you're not at around a 7.5 or 7.4 area. Make sure you're Something about maybe a 7 8 area, 7 9 area. That way you can come back down to a decent uh, pH level. Okay, so that's just a heads up on that one. Because we went from, again, 8.1 down to 7.5 on the pH in this pool just from adding the boric acid. All right.